The city of Busan in South Korea hosted the annual ITU Telecom World event this year, uniting governments, tech firms and startups to discuss new digital technologies. The host country was showing off its vibrant pop culture and promoting its innovations, in particular what are known as smart city technologies. So what does smart city mean? Well, here in Busan, they have a system which is monitoring traffic and lets drivers know when there's an accident ahead. Over here, this is a system to monitor emissions inside offices, letting you know how much greenhouse gases you're putting out into the atmosphere. Over here, we've got a system for healthcare that's monitoring patients in real time, sending the information to the doctors. And over here, this is interesting. This is a system which switches off your access to your smartphone when you're crossing a road so you don't get involved in a traffic accident. Why is it that you've brought in all these technologies here? The important thing is uh, how to make the people convenient and safety. Because Korean people already they have the experience for the IoT devices and they want to more higher service and applications. It's not just the South Koreans embracing smart city concepts. In Switzerland, a leading mobile phone company is testing how its data could be used to analyze traffic congestion. We have lots of mobile phone information. We generate 20 billion events every day. That's to say, each time your mobile connects to an antenna, it creates a digital imprint. And we approach the towns to say, here we go, we're going to be able to show you the traffic in real time. And then, on that basis, we're now going to be able to pinpoint more targeted town planning. To really make smart city concepts happen requires the implementation of ultra-fast 5G mobile networks. The ITU will define the spectrum for this network before 2020 and predicts a paradigm shift in connectivity. 5G is providing hyper-connected environment for the consumers. So all devices which are connected or so operated for daily life for the consumers, they should be connected over the 5G. Security was a big topic at this year's ITU Telecom World. In light of predictions, the number of connected devices will rise from 6 billion today to 200 billion by 2025. We need to change the way how we do cybersecurity. What we need to do for the future is to look at more uh, proactive system security by design and it's not the way of having some additional boxes or some additional software we put on that devices, rather than building these devices in a secure way uh, right at the beginning. While seeking answers to security questions, the drive to offer consumers 5G services is rushing ahead, with South Korea planning to make its upcoming Winter Olympics a hyper-connected event. We tried to install the 5G network for the first time in the world to provide the uh, trial services for their uh, audiences and participants in the Olympic Games. Many of the attendees at ITU Telecom World will be watching those 5G Olympic trials eagerly as the world prepares for another big jump in connectivity.